Bloggers, beware. If you choose to trash talk in your online writings, you may no longer be able to remain anonymous. CBS News correspondent Michelle Miller is here with more. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. Well, you know, trash talking happens all the time. People are slammed on the Internet on thousands of anonymous blogs and websites. But one Vogue cover model decided to take a stand and take her case to court. Liskula Cohen says she was unfairly trashed by an anonymous blogger last year through Google's blogger.com website. The blogger's page, called Skanks in NYC, was largely devoted to insulting the model. Most of it we can't repeat on morning TV. Now a Manhattan Supreme Court judge has ordered Google to give up the identity of the blogger so that Cohen can seek damages in court. This model sued Google. And Ann Salisbury is the blogger's attorney. These words are not actionable. It's, they were not nice, they were in, insulting, offensive to some, but that does not mean that the law provides redress for these insults. So the defense is really, this is free speech. Still, Cohen insists the remarks damaged her reputation. It is out of hope, her lawyer says, that this ruling will send a message that the Internet is not a safe haven for defamatory speech. But will it discourage free speech on the web? This should be a big wake-up call to bloggers. There's no more anonymity. If you defame someone online, the web company can be forced to turn over the information as to your identity, your address, so that you can be sued individually. Well, Google tells us it releases user information only after a subpoena or court order, and the Internet giant isn't saying just yet when it will give up the name of this particular blogger. What do you think this, this might mean for freedom of speech on the Internet? Well, we know that f speech is free, but it has its limits, and this judge has said those limits extend to the web. The question is, will bloggers, those tweeters, those Facebook pagers, will they think twice before they speak their minds? And I think we'll have to wait and see. I hope they do <laughs> think twice. Thank you so much, Michelle Miller.